Today we're going to talk about the new MBNF watch and uh, we're always excited to do so because we know we're always in for a surprise. This is the fourth member of the family of legacy machines. It is an actual legacy machine perpetual. The MBNF always accustom us to surprise us with their design, but this time they've also worked on some very pretty neat technical new features. Fourth movement in uh, four years. Uh, a seminal moment for us. Uh, an incredible movement and, for the first time, the world will discover Stephen McDonnell. I don't usually use that word, a watchmaking genius, who has totally re-engineered, reinvented the notion of a perpetual calendar. When he, when he told us his idea four, four and a half years ago, we, <laughs> I just looked at him like, is he serious? I thought about it for 10 minutes and I thought, he's actually right. The perpetual calendar way of thinking, the way we've been developing perpetual calendars, is wrong. And he has a different perspective, and for four years he's been working single-handedly with our team, but single-handedly, to create this extraordinary movement we are all so proud of. The reverse engineering thought that Stephen McDonnell had is that virtually all perpetual calendars believe that the month goes to 31, and that 28, 29 and 30 are an exception. He told us that doesn't make sense. Let's actually integrate a movement, not a module, integrate a movement going to 28 for every month and then 28, 29, 30 and 31 are built with a mechanical processor. So that's the first revolution. The second revolution is that all the interactions that the human being has with the piece are protected. The pushers, which are actually hybrid pushers, the client can himself change all the dates, even the year, are protected with a disconnect function. As soon as we are in a dangerous zone, which is where the date is passing, the pushers disconnect. So when you're pushing and nothing happens, you know you have to change the time. You cannot jam or break your perpetual calendar. And that's incredible. In the legacy line, from the beginning, the idea was to reinterpret the great complications of history of the 18th and 19th century in a three-dimensional kinetic way. So, yeah, we had the double flying balance wheel, we had the perpetual calendar, sure, you're going to see a certain amount of other projects in the pipeline. They take time. They take a lot of time, a lot of competence, and uh, maybe, well, it actually won't be next year, but from 2017 onwards, you're going to see uh, some more creative ideas. The Legacy Machine Perpetual uh, comes as a limited series. There are 25 red gold and 25 platinum uh, timepieces that have been produced. And I guess it's going to be a big hit for the collectors. This is really an interesting and a beautiful watch.